I get that view as well. Although I do have bad set this bad bad set of hard drives, I never put any important data on them. I just did some tests. So I kept this on here, just did some tests on. Put 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 the uh, uh, movies and stuff on there, but that uh. uh but didn't um, copy and paste them, just copy them only, don't paste them. Did some tests just to see how this thing will behave, how different hard drives behave and have bad sectors. As for the Seagate one, before I turned it to a massage, before I completely died, yeah, it would let me format it, so yeah, it was in its pre failure mode. This one, I did some um, HD regeneration on it and some other HD or programs that claim to fix HD bad sectors. In order to prove to myself that they're snake oil. And in the end, stuff like programs like HDD Regenerator actually make your hard drive worse. As of this one, it, uh, yeah, it went from having 72 bad sectors to 81 bad sectors, and two more weak sectors, and more weak sectors, and more weak sectors kept coming up. So, in the end, no data lost, but yeah, as a, it's good to learn. You're getting your bad sectored hard drives from anywhere. Get your data off from the ASAP, but if you want to just play around, just copy data on it, but don't lose the data that you put on there. Always keep backups of the data that you put on there. So and it's interesting to see how this thing behaved in various tests. So yeah. So I decided to end this thing, put it out of its misery. I gave it a couple of zero fill formats too before I um called this thing. I gave it about three zero fill completely um, low level formats and the weak sectors did go away but more testing? No. Nah. More came, more came and more came so yeah. Interesting how hard drives failed. So while this thing was powered it up, turned it off, while it was still spinning down it just went Dook! and yeah. Put that of its misery. Head crash. It's on its way out, so a good head crash is a way to put the hard drive out of its misery. As I said, no data lost. Pure for experimentation. Interesting how it made a grinding and squealy sound, though. As you can see. The Samsung, uh, that's the Toshiba and that Sega hard drive. No heads, it'll keep spinning. But with Western Digital Drives, the firmware turns these things off so that they will not keep spinning. If there's a major problem with the heads, nah, it will spin up, click a couple of times and turn off. As are the other 500 gigabyte caviar I had before. So if you want to make a massage instead of hard drives, does not work with Western Digital Drives. Their firmware works differently in failure conditions. Interesting the things you can learn, so. I do like this design of hard drive. The uh, plainness of the back and the lack of heat fins. I didn't like how it resembles a brick. A very solid drive. I like this design of this model here. EAC, yes. The EADS model I have too, which just has more cash. But this uh, thick plate with a metal um, cap here. I do like that design. Very uh, strong and solidly built. Very heavy 241 terabyte drive. I'll wipe it up and we'll uh, see what the head crash damage done. <laughs> see if it powers back up. I wonder if it'll spin up now. That the head's completely scratched a distance, so damaged. It was making some grindy squealing noises, it just got worse. That's it. Tries to spin up. Spins up. Spins back down. The uh, firmware of the drive is hesitant to spin up at full speed. It's at a slow speed. So the firmware knows there's a major problem, it doesn't want to. Yeah, stop. <laughs> it's still a smart analysis. <laughs> interesting how these drives work. Merchant digital drives are quite interesting when they fail. Yeah. Everything else will just keep spinning. But there's Western digital drives, no, it turns off. Yeah, can't get smart data off it. 
no problem with the disc, the heads and disc problems. You can't get the smart data obviously because that's where it's stored on. But anyway, we get this thing apart. One more time, power on and off. Yeah, the firmware must be a, just a, some sort of thing in the firmware. If it's got a head crash, it tries not to spin itself up to where it destroys the disc completely, even though it's as soon as the head touches the disc in the first place, it's gone. But the uh, firmware of this drive just slows it down. Interesting. Starts up again, slows back down, starts back up again, there we go, yeah, that's all it does, the firmware turns the motor off, any major faults, the motor stops spinning, but with um, other hard drives, they'll just keep spinning, which is a good bonus is if you want to um, make a massage out of a hard drive, <laughs> Western digital ones, you can't do that, anyway, let's go, press out to pull this thing open. Okay, there's ever damage in this drive. I just pulled the heads off because I was stuck. The one on the platter's got big gouges on it. I just pulled this out and unplugged it. Quite of a neat design. It's actually a... You can see why these are actually quite good hard drives. They're very well made. The firmware of these green drives is what the weak, weakest part is there. The firmware on this thing just parks heads every 8 seconds. And on the, ed on the ends here, there's tiny little splinter-like things at the very end of the head stack are the sliders and they can break and they are guarded in this plastic ramp. These are in pretty good condition and the ramp is in very good condition. This had 707,000 park and unpark cycles on it and it's 650 something days of um, operation so for nearly a million parks I don't see any real physical wear on that very good design, this little parking ramp uh, concept. Interesting motor too. It's actually um, a fluid bearing motor too. No ball bearing. Very reliable. Very thick platters. It's got two filters. And this uh, head assembly just pulls out once I get this magnet off. Very uh, well made. The see why Western Digital drives are favoured. It's a shame it had so many bad sectors, but that's what you get when you um, use a green drive with an NAS or a RAID. Anyway. Try and get this magnet off and the head assembly out. I want to how it behaves without disconnect. Will it actually start the motor up or not do anything at all? We'll see how it behaves. It'd be really cool if this thing, um, the firmware and this thing can be hacked so that this runs all the time, no matter what, if this is there or not. This is quite a heavy, um, heavy design, heavy and thick platters. I'd love to um, make or cut, cut bits out of that and make a massage out of this thing. Very heavy, this will make a good massager for its weight. <laughs> all taken apart. You have to pull this little back pin out, the stopper, lift that out with a rubber on it. Then take that magnet off with a pair of pliers. Get that out of the way. We'll destroy something with it. Once you lift that magnet off, you take that brake assembly off, but they're stopped by the disc. Very, almost impossible to get the ramp assembly off without damaging the heads. There's metal in there, a metal piece in there that holds all these plastic things together. There's absolutely no wear on that whatsoever. These are heads. There's a little amplifier chip on there. How fascinating is that, eh? They're little tiny heads that have just been ripped off. A square millimetre in size of heads on the end in there. Little black things in there, you can see. Have a look at camera, can pick that up. One, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heads in this drive. The sliders on the end of them, little prickly bits on the ends are the sliders. It's a shame the firmware on these draw on the green drives what let them down.
but I got a black drive which replaced the uh, Seagate that had been bad sectored on me. That's pretty much the same as this. It's exactly the same at the back as this one is. So that drive would be, be about as good as this one. But black's by far the best. Let's see if it actually um, runs. Man, very heavy construction, I like that. Like a bloody brick. Good construction technique with this drive. Oh, let's see if the firmware lets it spin. Oh, damn it! The firmware won't let it spin. Nah, oh, bugger! What a shame! The firmware won't let it spin. Damn it! Completely pulled apart. No scratches on the discs where the heads crashed onto. They're an odd colour too, they're not a full silver, they've got like a purpley tinge to them. Either way. Don't know where bats or bad sectors are, but yeah. In fact, I want a tape head past these. I wonder if I'll uh, get a bit of a scratch in this one where the head's hit. There you go. And that third disc had damage. In fact, I want an old get a cassette deck and just run a tape head through that and see if I can find any um, little tape head can't register. Scratch as I did. Try and cut it like a vinyl record. Yeah, very heavy construction, I tell you. Look how thick those are. If I just did that, put more on there, I can make a gyroscope out of this. Just put another four of those on there, make it really heavy, but I don't know if there's any way you can hack the firmware on this board, just so it just spins up, even though the head's out there and just stays spinning. If there was a way to do that, it'd be good, because I could just make them do all sorts of cool things with it. Very well designed hard drive though, it's designed to be repaired too. This um, bearing, if I can get this bearing apart, it spins one way, but it's hard to spin backwards. It's got like a braking effect. Yeah, so if you get an old hard drive, you want to make a massager out of, you can't do it on Western Digital Drives. The firmware is just too smart. Oh. See, it's a problem. The firmware won't let it spin. Logic. Bugger. Quite a reliable motor that too. The electronics are let down though, they're too smart. Hmm. There's little things between it. Samsung hard drives have, have, hard drives have these too. Some do and some don't. I think they're just to go in between the discs. I think they actually um, guide the air in a very specific way. Because most some hard drives have theirs and some don't. It's interesting what I have that. I know Samsung and Seagate have plastic ones. This one, this has aluminium ones. So it's been a very well built drive. Very well put, drive. Definitely uh, stick to Western Digital Blacks in that for now on. I like the build quality of this, very good. I'll make a speaker out of this too. Burn this core, that this uh, glue, the glue on this, um, on the warnings here, to hold the warnings so the uh, actuator, they've got fails. Every time I, I drive these things too hard, the glue that holds the, uh, the warning on the actuator arm, the glue fails from the high temperature. So that's where the fails and you turn it into a speaker. That bearing there is a really good nick. Precision bearing too. Good quality stuff. 
Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. And so there's one more thing. There's a special comb that goes on here. It goes in between the heads, it's like a head comb. And it separates the heads off the disc. What they do, they put it on there and it clamps on here and it moves it. And it holds it just above between the discs and the heads, a precision tool. Once I've done that, they can remove this out of the way and pull it out. Quite interesting how to do it there. Very tight tolerance. <laughs> Funny thing, cross it and snap the head off the bolt. Ah well. So these bolts here are what's holding these three bolts. I held by the top cover, I hold this all together. Interesting. That one of the days and secures that in the top of the motor. Let's see if it behaves differently now, eh? No, hang on, put it on the front one so you can see better. <laughs> now it spins up. No heads. I probably should run up there because the heads come kind of detached. They're going to get fling! Get someone in the eye. If only they can keep spinning. Oh, what a bugger! Yeah, I love the design of that slide. It's very reliable. No stiction when you get that sliding assembly. I prefer the sliding, the slides. The drive's properly made of quality materials. I don't see that, why that would wear out. There has been claims that there's a plastic slider wears out and the heads can't park and unpark anymore on these drives, but yeah. Just in here's in bloody good condition for the amount of almost a million parking cycles. That's what makes this good for archiving too. One of these drives would be good for archiving data. There's no stiction to worry about. What a shame the uh, Western Digital's firmware won't let it stay spinning up all the time even if the heads are completely stuffed because this would have made a really good massager very heavy drive Oh well It's a shame This must be here for noise suppression, this black plate on here, metal plate. There's no filter under it. This just must be the shield, uh, as a, a shield against magnetic, um, as, a, as a magnetic shield. If you hold a magnet to that, that'll protect the discs from getting damaged by the magnet. So it serves that purpose and also looks cool and helps it quieten the drive down. It's actually layered two separate pieces of metal pressed together. Love it. I love how the overkill hard drives like that. Really cool. Especially with these Western Digitals. Anyway, let's put it all properly back together. Anyway, thanks so much.